your like, Vada Fly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the John Road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy, y'all the game. Time has Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire fly. We used to rap it like that. But I get that check and have them out the land with pretty hoes. Feel me though, I'm bullin', boy. Just keep the fool, keep moving, boy. You don't wanna be the reason to ask you where we shoot fuckers. Oh, they say he the GOAT, top five. I don't even think that shit exists. If a red with a pistol lit, I'll put a beam on Mount Rushmore like Richie Rich. Oh, bitch is lit. Oh, oh, oh. A minute as I count my blessings, it should take a minute. Cause he's been good to me, good to me as good can be. I, 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 Cause I'm about to get real disrespectful on this motherfucker. What in the? Woo! Oh man! Ah! Woo! Hold up, the thing hot. This thing hot. God! Woo! Woo! God, this thing hot. Woo! Oh my God! Woo! Showtime, SP. Showtime, SP. You got to stop that. You got to stop that. Now this thing hot. What I'm gonna do with this thing here? This thing on fire. I got it for you, Billy Ray. Don't you even worry about it. Don't you even worry about it. It's on the way. It's on the way. What is going on with 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 what's going on? Like I need to know what is what It's your boy Showtime SP is the nobody that knows bodies. Bow RiceGangClothing.com for the merchandise, you heard him right, and I, I don't know how to fully explain what is going on, or what just happened, or what occurred. The party was jumping. We had drinks all around. You know what I'm saying? You know that, 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 that the DJ was rolling. They was playing all of the hits. They was giving us the 80s. They was giving us the 90s. They was giving us the 2000s. We was in there. We was in there. You know what I'm saying? We was in there doing everything. We was in there party. The party was jumping. Started off cool. The Mexican came in. He had the, the Don, Don Julio. He had the, the tequila. He brought DNA with him. Something. And you know what I'm saying? It was a good battle. Then you had a couple of anarchists came through and they came through. They just fucked some shit up. They, 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 they fucked up whatever the plans was. Whatever the plans was, but that's what they came and fucked up. We had the best two-on-two -two that we've seen in a long time. I mean, I mean a long time. The best two-on-twos all night, but that one topped all of them. Then we had a nice little heavy tension with the guns in the gutter versus triple C's. That battle was a 2-1. I can see that one clearly going that way. And then, then, that nigga that you didn't want to invite to the party, he came with the niggas that you invited with to the party. And you knew the reason why you didn't want to invite that nigga to the party because he was always going to fuck that shit up. That's exactly what this last battle was. Where, where do I get started? I'm gonna call it like I call it. Lou Castro voice. I'm wrong, brolic. Um, yo, this battle, I try my best to like get in my bag and try to find the positives out of the situation. But even on the watch, on the watch back, on the bloopable watch back, it gets worse. It gets worse. Um, main event of the you know double impact card and that uh, K Shine and them versus Av and them. That's that's phenomenal. That's gonna get its own recap. Um, bruh, I don't I, I don't know where to start at. Um, first round, I do I do have some bars. I did get some bars, and I will um I will still go over them. 
You know what I'm saying? Um, but first of all, Mook and Cal gets together Murderland team to face Jerusalem Park. You know what I'm saying? Which is New Jersey twerk and T top. Uh, respectfully to both groups. You know what I'm saying? Shit went a little left at the end, but you know, this is where we begin. I think I think that's where I need to start at. So um, first round. Jerusalem Park comes out, New Jersey Twerk is doing his thing, he's dropping the Haymakers, T-Top is kind of setting up the bars, but then Twerk comes at the end with the Haymaker, if you fall, you better fall that way, um, Paul Bear on Paul Bear, now you gotta walk on Goldilocks, uh, you can't carry, you can't carry in Harlem, Globe Trotter, cause you know, you can't call that a carry in Harlem, Globe Trotter, you know what I'm saying, um, y'all was tripping even getting on that plane, the Joe Biden line, Tripping, getting on the plane, because Joe Biden was tripping, getting on the plane. Um, salute to my man Vano and JP and, um, and my man Pierre, um, just Pierre, for the sponsor tracks, by the way. Um, he had another line, I could probably get you a house for free in Jesus' name. Then they had a line, he came up the stairs, sneaky bastard. He went down slinky fashion, because you know slinkies go down the stairs in a slinky fashion mode. Um, big ass frame for murder, Central Park 5, because you know. Big ass frame for murder, Central Park 5. Okay, I get it, I get it. Uh, green dots next to their name. I'm active now. Uh, T Top was talking about, you know, sending green dots to the homies locked up. Free my brother on this strap charge. Um, sending, I'm active now. Uh, then Twerk had a line you could die with your advice in your casket. It'll be a suggestion box, because you know, a suggestion box. That was kind of fire, I'm not gonna lie. First round. Very, very serviceable round. They both was getting off. Um, it wasn't too much in and outs. See, me, when I do the two-on-twos, I like the in and outs. Like with DNA and Don Marino. They did the Nas scheme. The, the, the bullet goes back in the gun. The gun go. But they didn't do it like that. They said the wing goes back in the pack. The pack goes back in the sink. The sink goes back to the store. Like that type of shit for me, it does it for me. But they was doing more of the... You rap four bars, this person ends up with the punch. You rap, but they had chemistry, but it wasn't that chemistry like these motherfuckers that been hanging out. Like Lou Castro and K-Shine, these niggas, they had like some of the best chemistry that I've seen in on the whole event. But anyway, that's another story for another day. So uh, Murderland, they really didn't have no chemistry. To be a team that's done a two on two before, I couldn't tell. I never heard of it. I never heard of it. I, I, couldn't tell. And I know there's going to be some people that's going to say I'm hating or whatever the case may be. I really don't give a fuck, you know what I'm saying? But I just had to mention it. So, uh, they came out talking about the fight, said, uh, you a fake Louis bag, easy to knock off. And he said, fuck an Uber driver. The only thing you're going to find, the only thing that's going to find you is a scuba driver. And then he had another line. How you deal with death, I started talking with my hands, murder move, I started talking with my hands line. That was actually one of the better lines of the battle. Uh, he said, you're not even a six man. Then he said, uh, <laughs> you talking about the haymaker chain. He said, you went to the same place Rock went and said, hey, make a chain. <laughs> like that was, that is, is witty, you know what I'm saying? Like that's some witty shit to say. Uh, after the first round, I did have uh, Jerusalem Park up 1-0, just me personally. Um, Second round they came out, he be fighting chickens, what he going to do with a rooster? Uh, let me hear anything about cow and chicken. He won't see his parents' face, cow, chicken, parent. Like the cow and cow, it's, it's cow, 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 or whatever. Um, I'm fighting as soon as I see the chicken like Peter Griffin. They spent like a whole segment of their second round talking about the calico with the, with the chicken shit. I mean, it's from 10 years, <laughs> whatever. Um, back in 99, I had bears on the wall, take it back to my road trip, 99 bottles of bears on the wall, uh, give my expert opinion and drop, not, drop knowledge and drop knowledge, you know what I'm saying, salute to hip hop is real and everything that they do, uh, saying I'm gonna choke you in a battle and you got choked in a battle, big difference, you wore that do-rag all that time, still didn't leave an impression, very solid second, but I think this was the part where it was a bad transition and people, and I didn't, Mook started talking, said he choked, that's a choke, I want my $500, that's a choke. Was it a choke? Who knows? I don't fucking know. I watched this shit once and I tried to watch it back again, this shit was so disgusting, whatever. Even if it was a choke or a stumble, whatever, T 
T-Top picks it up and he keeps going. Mook's asking for his $500 in the middle of the fucking battle, my nigga. Like, bro, what the fuck? So anyway, yeah, we gonna talk about that later. Um, so Murderland comes out in their second round uh, to see Mook and Cal touch down. They would took you off, you know, take off, touchdown, got it. Uh, hole 30, like the like the perks Rex gave you, bitch. Uh, I had to write raps to go to sleep. I ate rhyming for dinner. I ate rhyming for dinner. Like he said, he said I ate rhyming for dinner. Uh, y'all know damn well, and it got a crazy reaction too. But y'all know for sure if one of the guys that was around nowadays, like. That, that we hold to a high esteem, said that y'all niggas would be going crazy on him. I, when I first heard the line, I kind of was like this. I'm so disgusted, I don't even know where to begin. We, um, thank God we don't have much time, because I'm scared of what I would say today. Anyway, uh, I, I kind of was like, what is this? But uh, the reaction that it got, I ate ramen for then, okay. Ramen, ramen, rhyming, ramen, I got you. Um... He said, uh, then they started getting, then Murder Land started getting into some heat. Uh, the 40 ain't, he said, the ladder under the 40, it ain't no order too tall for niggas. Uh, the big nose, I brought it with me. Uh, shit will drop twerk like an ex stripper that's cool with her father now, like that type of shit. That, I don't know where this writing was at in the first round, but whatever the case may be. Uh, told Briz you'll be alright after I gave him the Z's. Now, even though it was a reach, B R I after I gave him the Z's. I like it. I ain't gonna lie. I like, I like the B R I after I gave him the Z's. Third round, I don't know where the fuck this shit went. It went left like a motherfucker, man. So, from what I remember, T Top starts rapping by the hammer. Then Moo started talking in the camera. And then that shit went all over the place. He starts talking in the round. T Top was like, yo, what are you talking to my round? And they start going back and forth. They got through a very choppy round. Like Twerk takes over. He starts doing his thing. The round all together was not that great because Moop Mo pretty much was also passing the finish. You talking about this hammer. I said it didn't happen. I said it didn't happen. Pass interference. Uh Mook and Cal got into a round. I don't know what the fuck they was talking about because after I seen that shit. I did like the end though, when they did that Tupac shit. Young motherfucker, we, we the mob, you think you the mob? Nigga, we the mob, we do our job, like you all you motherfuckers on. You motherfuckers can't be us, I see Nigga, west side till we die, out in California, we'll bomb on you. I did like that part, I'm not gonna lie, cause that shit seemed real, that shit was really fucking intense. That was crazy. But I seen people giving Mook and Cal the third. How the hell can you give someone the third when they sabotage the other person's third. Not Cal, but Mook. You, 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 I can't count the third. I can't count the third. Like, how you gonna count the, when, when you niggas start counting like that? So you can mess up somebody else's round and then just be like, well, fuck it, I'm gonna give them. You can't do that. The third round cannot be counted. It can't. It's disqualified. Vada fly, gotta die, homicide, llama fly. It's disqualified. You can't fucking judge it. I'm sorry. I got a... Uh, Jerusalem Park winning this battle. It's an ugly battle. The shit will probably be on the app tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Because you know they love to release the shit that they don't fuck with. The trash go out on Tuesdays. So they're both... <laughs> Even though it was the main event, that shit was not no main event. The main event was Triple C's versus Guns and Gutter. And I love that Luke Castro and um, Kayshawn versus Adam Fonz. But other than that, man, salute to the subscribers. That notification game. If you respect the handle, Subscribe to the motherfucking channel, you know what I'm saying? Stop. I'm dropping this motherfucker. You might as well click the button. You're watching this motherfucker. I'm gone. Murderland versus Twerking T-Top. Jerusalem Park was the nigga that had the gun in the party. Everybody was grooving. The slow jams was rocking. And you niggas decided to get bumped. You're going to have to get your man to, no, 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 don't you turn your back on me. Don't you turn your back on me. You look at the motherfucker. you going to have to get your man You're going to have to get the murder land man. You're going to have to get Calico. You're going to have to get the murder move the fuck up out of here. You're going to have to get T-Top, and you're going to have to get Twerk the fuck up on out of here. You niggas fucked up the whole party.
Nigga, we was rocking. We, yo, we was rocking, bro. Like, we was in there. Rock. Every battle was good. Like, you can look at every single one and you want to see that. And you. No. I don't, I don't care. I don't care. It's at the point. You know what? They let me out. And I'll go back. For this battle, I'm going the fuck back. I don't want to see no top tier battles right now. I don't want to see no top tier main event battles. I want to see the main event that matters. I want to see main events that actually make fucking sense. Sorry. My bad. No, Lada, please. I hope you're still watching this, bro. I hope I hope y'all are watching this because I'm not even talking to them, bro. I'm, t I'm really talking to you. Like, this battle event could have been a 10. A 10. It could have been a 10, bro. It could have been. It, it, it was everything you needed, bro. I, I gotta, I gotta, I, I'm, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting this out because certain battles definitely need to be, open, you know, relooked at. Fonz and Ev and K. Shine and Lou, that needs to drop now. That needs to, nigga, what? That needs to drop now. I really want to see that Anarchy versus Real Rap again. I really want to see that again. Those are the battles that I really, really want to see again. Because those battles were the ones that I'm like, mm-hmm. I even want to see DNA and Dom again. Because that ba when you see the chemistry between them, those battles are the ones I want to see again. Smack, you got robbed, my nigga. You need to talk to Mo. You need to say, hey, bro. You know I remember the favors for the favors, but I'm going to need my bread back, bro. What the fuck was that? All four of you niggas. Sit down. Just, just chill out. Not necessary. Just, just chill. No. Vada, I'm going to need you to go ahead and serve them niggas. DL, because if I'm wrong, I'm going back to the asylum with my blanket and my yellow bunny. Nigga, I am pissed. N Yo, this, yo, the whole night was good. And y'all niggas then came through and fucked up the whole party. Are you sick? I, I can't. Ah. All the time, 24-7, 365. God is good. As I count my blessings, this will take a minute. Cause he's been good to me. Good to me as good can be. Say no name that's ever this. Can't put phone them in videos. But bet I get that check and have them out the land with pretty hoes. 